Good evening, hello and welcome. You're watching CNN News 18. This is Nation at 5 with me, Poonam Burde. There's lots lined up for you on this edition, but let's get you started with breaking news coming in. News coming in from the national capital now where ABVP has accused left student groups of vandalism at JNU. They've accused them of writing abuses on the walls of JNU in the School of International Studies in a bid to intimidate professors. Abuses have been spray-painted on the walls is the allegation that uh, the ABVP, which is a BJP-led student group, is now claiming the allegation is made against the left student union, which is the student union of the JNU. Akash, my colleague, now joins us for more on this. Uh, Akash, uh, we can see the abuses uh, or the rants that have been spray painted on the walls of uh, this particular campus in JNU. Why is it that the ABVP is pointing in the direction of the left parties? So, uh, Poonam, uh, first of all, these uh, videos and these images are coming out of JNU, and this is not the first time when such incident has been reported uh, from the JNU campus. And in fact, we have been given to understand that this is from the School of International Studies and this time, the allegation is that uh, uh, the uh, students targeted the chambers of professors. Now, why they are saying that, uh, you know, less students are behind it? Because of the... Right, sorry to interrupt and... you there, Akash. Uh, Rohit Kumar, uh, president of the ABVP, is now with us on the phone line. Uh, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. Why exactly are you blaming uh, the left student union for this? Uh, why do you think it's them who've done this? Yes, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, you... Uh... So, because see a pattern pattern in this, you can see the same uh, anti kashmir times in school of uh, social. We left which uses vandalism. We'll try and reconnect with Rohit Kumar uh, of the ABVP. There uh, we have some uh, audio issues with him. But going back to my colleague uh, Akash Sharma, who was getting us the details. Uh, of what exactly has transpired uh, and uh, like you were pointing out there seems to be a pattern this is not the first time Akash that this has happened but uh, as far as this particular instance is concerned uh, do we have a timeline when did these uh, spray painted graffiti actually come up? No, unfortunately not, Poonam. And in fact, we don't have any sort of confirmation as to when did this appear. But, you know, as of now, the allegation is that uh, chambers of the professors have been, you know, uh, uh, targeted this time. And this was to intimidate them. Also, you know, as Rohit was pointing out that uh, this is there is a pattern. And because of the language and the, uh, you know, communal words that are used in, the, in these particular, uh, you know, uh, statements and uh, these uh, things that have been uh, on these uh, particular walls. So it has been, uh, you know, said that, uh, left students are behind this particular activity and also, you know, uh, we have been given to understand that uh, uh, the students from ABUP are now approaching the higher authorities to right. investigate the matter and also, you know, they are somewhere with the opinion that the academic space must be used for debate and discussion and also... Absolutely you know, and let me that take that uh, to the ABUP president of the JNU, Rohit Kumar, who is back with us on the phone line. Uh, Rohit, uh, before the audio line got cut, uh, you were talking about how this is a pattern. Why do you say this and uh, can you uh, put this in a timeline for us? When exactly did uh, this latest incident happen? When did uh, these graffitis come up? Yes, uh, they have been putting such uh, obnoxious and they have been putting such uh, ridiculous uh, propaganda on both in January since uh, 2014. In uh, when they put a poster uh, abusing the uh, Kashmir situation, like they organized this saying that uh, Kashmir has no post offices. And after that, we see it in 2017, they put some uh, other propaganda in School of uh, Social Sciences building. And now we have seen this uh, on the walls of professors, uh, free thinking professors. And they have also, once again, trying to uh, intimidate Professor Vandana Mishra and Professor um, uh, Pravesh Chaudhary, who is the Dalit. Now we can see the same pattern happening in School of International Studies building where they are putting uh, castes, abuses and uh, anti-India. They are trying to poison the university. Since the pressures have come right now, they are trying to sh show that they are in power and they are uh, showing their power in uh, such a negative way. They are, uh, this is just a sheer propaganda move by the left, um, uh, which, which they have done in JNU, which we have witnessed in 2019 also, which we have witnessed in 2021 also when they use the university spaces for their personal propaganda and personal politics. Right. What is our demand now, Rohit? Uh, what is it that you're expecting the JNU authorities to do? Oh, 
all the authorities from the lower level to the upper level, from the chairperson, right from the chairperson to the deans to the vice chancellor. We have asked them to remove these. We have asked them to identify the perpetrators. This has been done in uh, union office, the student union office. This has been done in the classrooms. You, you see, you see, you see, of revolution in the of changing society. You see, uh, also you see, um, uh, abusing the caste. You see, several sort of um, uh, negative messages are displayed in JNU, which gives a bad impression to the students as well as to the outsiders. And we have been, we want the administration to take due cognizance and we want the perpetrators, uh, perpetrators to be booked so that a uh, message goes that these things won't be. Right. Right, Rohit Kumar, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18 uh, with your demands and uh, your perspective and Akash for getting us the latest input on that. For now, shifting focus to the big story that we're tracking here and that